Press the bell icon on YouTube and don't miss another update. Now that the SP BSP tie up is sealed, it's a done deal. The BJP has a lot to think about. After all, at the end of the day, Uttar Pradesh is its most crucial state where it won 71 of the 80 seats in the 2014 elections. And any political development in the state does affect the BJP's fortunes to the maximum. What is the BJP thinking? Well, one, of course, it's got its cadres and workers on the ground ready to go and talk to voters, to tell the voters why the Gut Bandhan is a bad idea and how this is really uh, very unstable, how it is a coming opportunistic coming together of two separate ideologies, people who'd fought in the past, people who don't, you know, really get along politically, but are doing it only to target Prime Minister Narendra Modi. But more importantly, the BJP is a worried lot. The Congress is not part of this alliance. These two parties were willing to give it only two seats and hence the Congress is likely to contest in many more seats than it would have if it was not part of the alliance. Now, why is that worrying the BJP? That's worrying the BJP because now they feel the Congress will field a lot of upper caste candidates which is going to eat into the BJP's vote share. If the Congress was part of the alliance, the upper castes would not have come to uh, this alliance because it's SP, BSP, BSP stands for Dalits, Jathavs, SP stands for Yadavs and OBCs. And hence, it would have been easier for the BJP to get the upper caste to its fold. But if the Congress now contests in many seats, puts up uh, upper caste candidates, does not put up as many Muslims so as not to eat into the SP, BSP vote share, the BJP will need to worry, will need to understand how to target the upper castes. Of course, it has just bought, brought in the 10% quota bill, uh, where, which gives reservations to the general category, the poor in the general category. But will that be enough? The BJP is now trying its best to strategize about how to deal with SP, BSP on one hand and the Congress on the other hand and how to deal with really what could turn into a triangular contest and make it to its advantage. For The Prince, this is Ruhi Tiwari.